Google has been accused of ripping off another company again. <laughs> who, who is shocked? Hi, thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about this story that was in the Wall Street Journal yesterday entitled, Lyrics Site Accuses Google of Lifting Its Content. Genius says it can prove lyrics from its site are appearing in Google search information panels by examining the apostrophes. Now, if you don't know, Genius.com is a lyrics publishing site. They have partnerships with different record companies and they get the lyrics for popular songs and publish them online. In fact, you've probably noticed this. If you go to Google and you search for a popular song, Genius.com for many years has been the number one result uh, for that song and you can click on it and, and see the lyrics. But in the past couple years, Google has done something a little different. What they have done is they've posted a little information panel uh, next to your results that have the lyrics in it. And because of that, people are no longer clicking on the Genius.com link and they're just looking at the Google information panel that has the lyrics. Now, the result of this is a lot of lost business for Genius.com. They make tens of millions of dollars a year on this. Uh, they also publish lyrics through different apps like Spotify and, and iTunes and, and whatnot. But for the last couple of years, Genius.com has been suspicious of Google because their lyrics seem to be exactly the same as what they published. So they decided to do something clever. What they did is they looked at the apostrophes in their songs. Now, as we know, an apostrophe is a punctuation mark. And on the web, that can be either the little curved apostrophe, and there's also a, a straight apostrophe. And so what they did is they would alternate using the different apostrophe in their published lyrics. And they alternated in a way that it put out a Morse code. Morse code is the dot, dot, dash, 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 dot, dot code that was used long ago in communications. And the particular Morse code that they used in their lyrics spelled out red-handed, which is pretty genius when you think about it. What they did is then they went to the Wall Street Journal and they gave over a hundred examples of their published lyrics and how when you would search for that lyric on Google, in the Google information bar, they would have the exact same lyrics with the same curved apostrophe and the same straight apostrophe in the exact same order. And when you wrote it down, the uh, uh, straight curved straight would be a dot dash dot, which would be an R in Morse code. It would spell out red handed. And I believe that they have proved that Google did this. Now, Google will say, hey, it's not on us. That was all done with by a subcontractor. We uh, have a partner, Lyrics Find, which is a Canadian company. If anyone stole it, it was them. But you are responsible for who you hire. And if you hire another company to do something and they, they rip somebody off, you, you are responsible for that too. Now, is this plagiarism? Clearly, this is plagiarism. And according to Bowdoin College, uh, there's uh, four types of plagiarism. This is an example of direct plagiarism, which is just a copy-paste plagiarism. Uh, Control-C, Control-V, or Command-C, Command-V. They would just copy everything as it was and make no changes whatsoever to it, and they were able to prove this. And I think they made a, a pretty good case. Other types of plagiarism are self-plagiarism. That would be where you would republish an article but you would make it look new. I know that this has happened recently in the crossword world. Another type of plagiarism is mosaic plagiarism. That's where you would uh, copy parts of things but not note that it is a direct quote. And an old trick that I'm sure everyone has done, you copy something and then you look up in a thesaurus a similar word so that it's not exactly the same. That'd be mosaic plagiarism. 
And the last is accidental plagiarism, where you just do a bad job of citing your sources. But in this case, it is pretty clear that Lyrics Find, the partner of Google, just wholesale ripped off Genius.com's work. Now, if you would like to check this for yourself, good luck, because what Google did immediately upon this story is they did a find and replace, and there are no curved apostrophes at all appearing in any of their lyrics. They just went through and immediately deleted them all. Now, this is something that I actually noticed. I do some side work uh, with some dance choreography, and when I do that, I will copy the lyrics online, and then I will write choreography to go along with it. And I noticed the changing apostrophe, but I didn't, I didn't know what it meant. And it was a little, little bothering to me, and so I would replace them all so all the apostrophes looked the same. I wish I had looked into it more, because that would have been a fun thing to discover. But let me know, do you have thoughts on Google.com stealing the hard work of another company? And it's going to be interesting to see how this video does, because what I have learned is that if you are even slightly critical of Google, which is the parent company to YouTube, the video doesn't really get promoted that much. So it'll be interesting to see how this video does. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Peace. Thank you.